and and I thought, well, this is the real game. This is actually what I was after when I was 15, because the odds are so much better. And that fascination, I think, has never quite disappeared. And and it's, I I do still think there's there's a part of me that's kind of this this lazy reprobate that wants to <laughs> that, that loves the idea that you can just that you can just use your mind to make money. And if you if you think well, mm-hmm. you can you can. Um, use your money to make more money without actually really doing anything, without having to get your hands dirty or or work in an office and have to be respectful to a boss you dislike. And so there is a sort of childish fantasy there. But then I, I think over the years, as, as we'll no doubt talk about, my my interest in the great investors deepened. Yeah. And and it, there's there's still a slightly subversive side to me where I I like the fact that you can use your mind and you can outthink people and and achieve independence by outthinking people. But I but I think I also came to realize that actually there's something much more profound going on and that the, the great investors are then they're, they're not just brilliant at making money. They're they're actually extraordinary thinkers 